The deployment of jet-powered drones in Iran's Army Air Defense Force dates back to the period before the Iranian Revolution. At that time, these drones were used as training targets for testing air defense systems. During the Iran-Iraq War, these drones were also purposefully used to saturate and deceive Iraqi air defense and radar systems. For this purpose, they were launched in groups of three to five, and simulated the radar signature of manned aircraft. After the Iranian Revolution, other types of drones were also introduced into the combat organization of this force. However, these drones were not specifically adapted for air defense missions, and were mainly used for patrol and surveillance purposes. In recent years, the Army's Air Defense Force has expanded the use of drones, and, in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense, has sought to develop interceptor drones, airborne radars, and electronic warfare drones. In this video, we will discuss the Rasul Air Defense Project, which was launched by the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force to develop an interceptor drone. It can be said that this project is one of the few operational systems in the world with the capability of air-to-air -air drone combat. Of course, given the novelty of this field, the development of the Rasul project is still ongoing, and it will certainly receive necessary upgrades every year until it reaches a fully reliable stage. Regarding the components of the Rasul air defense system, it should be noted that initially, this system consisted of the Majid air defense missile, along with the Karar drone. Currently, this system has become more diverse and has undergone upgrades, which we will discuss further. The Karar drone used in this system is the latest developed version of this drone, which is equipped with the Talu-5 engine. The use of this engine has significantly enhanced all the specifications of the Karar drone, transforming it into a strategic drone. For example, the flight ceiling of this drone, which was previously between 25,000 and 30,000 feet, has now been increased to 50,000 feet. As a result, Karar has gained the capability to engage a wide range of both unmanned and manned aerial threats. Regarding other specifications of the Karar drone, it should be mentioned that with its newly acquired ability to cruise at altitudes above 40,000 feet, its fuel consumption has been significantly reduced. This is mainly due to the substantial decrease in air resistance at higher altitudes. Due to the reduction in fuel consumption, the drone's endurance and range have increased two to three times. According to General Sahaifar, the Karar drone is now capable of maintaining flight endurance for more than two hours at high altitudes. According to the catalog published at the MAX exhibition, the previous version of this drone had a range of approximately 200 kilometers. However, in the latest upgrade, it was revealed that the range of the new version has increased to 600 kilometers. This is clearly due to its ability to fly at very high altitudes. However, the most interesting aspect of this upgrade, as stated by the Deputy Operations Commander of the Army Air Defense, is that the Karar drone has reached the range of supersonic speed. Given that the speed of sound is approximately 1,200 km per hour, it appears that the Karar drone has managed to reach or even slightly exceed this speed, which is a very significant and rare achievement in the field of drones. Previously, the Karar drone equipped with the Tolo 4 engine, had a maximum speed of about 900 km per hour. With the new engine, its speed has increased by 30 to 40 percent. In 2023, during the Army's joint drone exercise, it was announced that the Karar jet drone successfully intercepted and hit another drone using a Majid missile. This operation can be considered one of the very rare events in the field of drones worldwide. However, this was not the first time such an event took place in Iran. In 2022, the Karar drone successfully hit another drone using an Azaraksh missile. It is likely that the Majid missile has been preferred over the Azaraksh due to its superior capabilities. The Majid missile, when used as a ground-based or sea-based air defense missile, has a range of 8 kilometers and is equipped with an infrared seeker. An interesting feature of this missile is its increased range when used in an air-to-air -air role. According to Army air defense officials, its range has been extended from 8 to 12, 15 kilometers. One of the reasons for this increased range is that it does not need to consume fuel to climb from the ground to a high altitude. Additionally, the initial acceleration provided by the carrier drone allows a significant portion of the missile's fuel, which would otherwise be used in ground-launched versions, to be conserved and utilized for extending its range. 
The latest upgrade received by the Rasul system includes the integration of the Karar drone with all radar and air defense systems, an increased variety of missiles, an extended range of the optical system, and an extended range of its radar system. Previously, the Karar drone could only carry a single Majid, or Azaraksh missile. However, according to General Sagifar, it can now carry multiple missiles. Additionally, the Karar drone has been equipped with a variety of missiles and is now capable of carrying multiple types of air-to-air -air missiles. Although images of this upgrade have not yet been released, its official announcement was made recently. With these features, the Karar drone can be effectively used to engage subsonic cruise missiles, loitering and propeller-driven drones, and enemy helicopters. Overall, some of the main reasons for employing the Rasul system are its agility, flexibility, and tactical nature. For example, when a hostile drone is detected entering the country, it is not possible to engage it immediately at the border using ground-based systems. This is because, due to Iran's vast borders, ground-based systems are not present at every border point, and it is necessary to wait until the drone enters the defense ring of the air defense systems. Additionally, if the enemy drone passes over residential areas, there are further limitations in engaging it. This is because the debris from a destroyed drone or missile could pose a risk to civilians. Moreover, if a ground-based air defense system engages a low-priority target, its location may be exposed, making it vulnerable to enemy strikes. Beyond this, hostile drones could exploit blind spots in air defense and radar coverage, such as mountainous areas, creating additional challenges for air defense operations. Even in cases where a ground-based system is positioned appropriately, it may require launching a heavy, high-cost, long-range missile to neutralize a relatively inexpensive target. All of these factors have led to the use of fighter jets and aerial systems to counter threats such as subsonic cruise missiles and kamikaze drones. Given the high costs associated with the operation, maintenance, and repair of fighter jets, Iran's Air Defense Force has opted for a medium-class tactical drone like the Karar. This drone does not require any runways or airstrips for takeoff. Instead, it is launched using a booster and lands using a parachute. Because of this, Karar can be deployed to the border or into the flight path of a hostile aerial target in the shortest possible time and engage it with a low-cost air defense missile. This eliminates concerns about engagements occurring over residential areas and removes the need to wait for the target to enter the defense ring of ground-based systems. After completing its mission, the Karar drone returns to the air defense base to be recovered and rearmed with missiles. Overall, based on the progress made so far, it is evident that the Karar serves as the foundation for Iran's future interceptor drones, which will have greater capabilities and will likely be integrated with Air Force fighter jets. According to General Kajay Fard, this project was initiated by Iran's Ministry of Defense several years ago, and its official unveiling can be expected in the near future. It is anticipated that a more powerful carrier drone, such as the Sejil UAV, will be used in the future. This would allow for a greater number of missiles to be mounted, and for the integration of a lightweight radar or long-range optical systems. Similar to the Karar, the Sejil drone is launched from the ground using a booster and can reach the operational area in the shortest possible time. Unlike the single-engine Karar drone, the Sejil is equipped with two jet engines, enabling it to exceed speeds of 1,000 km per hour. It also features a stealth design and a larger overall size. With 600 km range, supersonic speed, and deadly missiles, the Karar drone is no ordinary UAV. It's designed to eliminate cruise missiles and enemy drones. But how effective will it be against real-world threats? Share your thoughts below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more military insights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.